So I continue to mark out the edge of the clouds um, with white and occasionally using some chalk. I'm never using pure white. Um, so it's a mixture of the colors that I've used to paint the clouds with a little bit more white in. Um, marking out highlights uh, so that I know where I'm going to put them in later. And again, just working the edge of the clouds uh, where possible wet into wet with a relatively small uh, round ended brush. I found this works particularly well for, uh, for cloud work. Taping off the horizon and blocking in the horizon, um, always very helpful, uh, especially when you're painting the sea and you need a straight horizon. And again, using a mixture of the same colours. Blocking in the sea now, and again, pretty much the same colours but with a darker mix, just more intense pigment, and leaving that uh, that area, um, which is the where the highlights will go uh, at a later stage. Steadily working from the background into the foreground. Um, gradually getting darker, which is the one thing that uh, a lot of people, when they start painting, struggle to do. Remove the tape, start make, marking in the, uh, the highlights, and this is where you need quite a steady hand so as not to disturb that, uh, that line. Then with another brush with the same paint uh, that I worked a dark area of the sea, just blending wet into wet, uh, which makes all the difference. Again, just marking in that lit area. Coming back to the foreground, going backwards and forwards an awful lot um, with this and working on different areas of the picture which I do think is important it's uh, very easy to get bogged down in certain areas when uh, ideally you need to work many many areas of the picture starting to put in some of the wavelets in the foreground which of course will be darker And then I'd be thinking about blocking in that, uh, that landscape, which is a, a pebble beach in the foreground. There we go. Again, mixing the same colors, a um, little bit more of the burnt umber probably, to give you a, the tones of uh, bluey gray. And considering the amount of light um, and the easiest way to put uh, put some light in is to put some shadow in. So whilst I'm developing some of the highlights, once you put dark colour in, so this is the headland off in the distance, once you actually add these dark colours, the picture starts to change again. And then something that uh, was quite apparent is uh, this lit area where the, uh, the sun is highlighting the, uh, the grass on that headland. It makes all the difference. Into the foreground. And then back to the clouds again. Bit of light, bit of dark, often useful to have two brushes on the go or possibly even three when you're doing this with the different colors on. Back to highlights again. Try not to lose that area, uh, it's quite crucial. And then the dark areas, which again, really important. That will give you light. Add shadow, there will be light. 